Hey everybody, how's it going today? We, uh, we're going to do a video today on uh, maintenance of a central boiler furnace. Uh, your day-to-day -day things of what, uh, what kind of maintenance it takes. Because there's probably a lot of people out there that want to, uh, are thinking about an outdoor wood furnace. And they might want to know what they got to do every day to make it work. And there's other people that have one and maybe some of these suggestions will work. We're here in the big town of Everett, um, Michigan, and uh, we're with uh, Dan Whitback, uh, alias, well, we call him Boone, that's his nickname. So, and this furnace, how old is your furnace here? Be 20 years old in July. So, this is a Sunter Boiler uh, Classic, which is a 5648, and now it's a 6048, if you're looking at the new ones. But, uh, so when you come out every day, what, what's the first thing you do when you come to your, your furnace there, Boone? You, I look at the temperature. Okay. And then what's the next thing you, uh, oh, typically I, do? Crack the door open. Okay. For a couple seconds. Yeah. Kind of let it breathe a little. Yeah. Then uh. you open it slowly for a don't. Well, that's how I trim my beard. You can notice it's pretty well trimmed. Yeah, you got a nice trim job. I got a bunch of little stuff in here because I just hauled wood up my wood stove. So, I... so every day you kind of... I push all the coals back. Okay. It's working very well. And I especially scrape where that tapered bottom comes up to the sidewall right there. All right. And on both sides. So more or less just push them all back, do some scraping in the firebox, and then yeah. then what do you, you typically, yeah, in the bottom of the firebox, um, as you, like brand new. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but years using it. the, um, bottom of the firebox because uh central boiler we have the pull this back yeah. oh you're gonna pull it back forward all right yeah. Yeah. Quite a mess it's so hot now. yeah getting a lot of air but that's good so more or less you scrape your ashes and then pull your stuff back to the front and then just put the wood to it right yeah, I scraped the sides a little bit, but there's All not right. too much on the sides. That ash troll seems to work pretty well. All right. I throw that in there about once a week. Right? Nice. So as far as your your firewood, um, you just uh, have a bunch sitting over here, and then this is what you got about a cord sitting here? Yeah, probably just a little over a cord. It's a little higher than my post, so. And so you just kind of, that way you can judge how much you're going through every day or yeah, no, a week. If there's a storm coming, I usually make sure I got it filled up here for I ain't got to dig it out. Right. Yeah. So as far as the furnace, that's pretty much, you just stir, you stir the ashes every day and then uh, scrape it and pull, pull everything forward and then just put wood in it and then you're done until tomorrow. I mean, I usually check it morning and evening just for dark or whatever. I don't fill it completely up, just what I need okay. in there, what else, more or less. Depending on the temperature of what it is, it depends right. on how much wood you got throw in it. All right. Well, that's... Uh, then I put an ash troll in it probably once a week, probably. And that's to, they say, to sweeten the ashes yeah, and to help with creosote. Or whatever. Yeah, the inside the firebox looked uh, very nice, uh, very clean for a 20-year-old furnace. Uh, still going. Uh, Boone, what he's heating is, I'll swing this around, he's got his house, oh, it's probably well over 125 feet up there, would you say, something like that? Yeah, I would think so, probably 150, somewhere in there. And then he puts some heat in his pole barn uh, just to keep it above freezing, more or less. So, But he's burning uh, hardwood, more or less, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much all hardwood. Yeah. I throw a little popple in there once in a while. I don't throw that in the brush pile. Okay. 
So whatever burns. If it burns, it burns. Yep. I don't burn much pine, though. It's too smoky. Oh, okay. But, yep. So we just wanted to, you know, like I say, a lot of people are wondering what kind of furnace or how much maintenance there is on a on a furnace day-to-day. Uh, -day. And we're going to come back probably the end of the burning season, and we're going to show uh, what Boone does as far as when he's done with the heating season and how he prepares it for the summer and what all he does. So, hey, I'd just like to say thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.